Welcome to our dependent field tutorial. As the name suggests, dependent fields derive their values from other fields, allowing for dynamic display of extra information based on a parent field's value. This ensures that the dependent field updates automatically whenever an issue is created or modified. In this comprehensive tutorial, we will guide you through a step-by-step -step process of setting up and configuring a dependent field. Before we begin, please ensure that you have the following prerequisites. A company managed project, an existing custom target field, and a data source. Note that you can use any type of native JIRA field as basis for a dependent field, like text fields or a select list. In our use case scenario, we want to add a dependent field to the issue that displays a user's email, according to the previously selected ID. For this, we will need a pre-existing data source, a parent field that you have already set up, and an available JIRA field, to display the results of the dependent field after setup. For the purpose of this demo, we select Sample1, as our data source, which we offer as part of the app for testing purposes. You can generate this demo sample in the Settings tab. Additionally, ensure that you have pre-selected a value in the parent field on the issue screen. Now let's create a dependent field. Go to the Field Configuration tab and add a new configuration. We'll select the sample data 1, all customers, and add a context filter for our custom field 10078 using the ID as an identifier. This is how our context filter expression will look like. If you experience errors during this step, please ensure that a value has been pre-selected in the custom field within the JIRA issue, as mentioned in the beginning of the tutorial. Next, we'll choose text as the value type for our dependent field, and specify the values of our JSON list that we want to display. For our use case, we'll select the JSON path contact person email to display the email of the pre-selected user. You can also use our expression builder to choose the desired JSON path. You can also individualize your value output or build templates. For example, you can add the first name and last name of the contact person to display the full name of the user along with the email. Or you can add angle brackets around the email to achieve an output like this. Finally, we'll select the custom field for our dependent field. Back to our JIRA issue. We can now see the new dependent field on our screen, that displays the email based on our previously selected customer's ID. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out our documentation, which is linked in the description. If you like this video tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel.